Hey Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, this is a Poshmark Bolo video. Don't close out. I know my eBay people like to know like things that sell on eBay, but these things sold faster on Poshmark. So if you guys are not cross posting, I highly recommend it. And I'm going to be showing you Bolo items that sold like in toys, home goods, um, more items like that not many clothing items in this video. So these items do sell on eBay also. They are items to be on the lookout for. Items you can buy low and sell high. Um, I mentioned that I cross post. I use list perfectly to cross post. And if you would like to watch a demonstration video on that, I have several. Um, if you sell on Poshmark and want to cross post to eBay and Mercari, I have a video that shows that. So um, just type that into my search bar. And then I also have a video linked down below in the description. But if you're interested in trying it, you can get 30% off your first month of List Perfectly with affiliate link, Bolo Buddies, all one word. Um, and it's a great service. I've been using it for over a year. It saves me so much time. I love it, love it, love it. Um, but anyway, check out the video, see what you think. Um, I had a gal that messaged me. I was talking to her one day and I was telling her telling her about it. And she messaged me like a few days later. I didn't even know she was going to sign up. And she's like, oh my goodness, why did I wait so long? And she absolutely loves it. So, um, and I do too. So I totally get it. But I just wanted to share that with you guys. But we are going to dive into some Poshmark Bolos. And I'm having some technical issues with my camera. I need to reboot, but I already had all of my tabs pulled up. And I didn't want to have to pull everything up again. So we're going to go with the little circle for this video. All right, guys, let's get started. The first item is, drum roll, no kidding. Um, the first item is this Boyd's Bear, Noah's Ark, um, the Big Boat and Friends. I will tell you this was a long tail item and it sat on eBay for a long time. I put it on Poshmark. It sat for a while, but it did finally sell. Um, I picked this up at a garage sale. I got it probably for a couple bucks and it sold for $35. So definitely worth the wait. But um, the Boyd's Bear plush seemed to do a little better for me. But um, I did pick up some Boyd's Bear figures. So, um, and they're hit and miss. But this one's super cute and yeah, sold for $35. All right, let me make sure. Okay, the next item is, okay, funny story. Not really funny, but I have had this thing for probably like seven years. I mean, seriously, like forever. I am so happy to see it go. I had this listed on eBay way longer than I had it listed on um, Poshmark, but it sold on Poshmark. This is like a Poshmark item. So it's a PJK bustier. Um, it's lamb leather and it retails for $328 and it's new with tags. And honestly, like I thought it was going to sell quicker. And I think I sold it on eBay and it got returned because it didn't fit right. Um, so I relisted it. So it did sell once before, but it sold for less on eBay. I do remember that because I was super excited when this sold for $117. I believe this was like a TJ Maxx yellow tag sale find and I probably had like 10 or 15 bucks in it. And again, it sold for $117 and the buyer pays shipping on Poshmark. The next item is uh, these Bratz dolls. And I actually did a video on this. I had all of my Bratz dolls listed in one listing and I kept having people message me asking me to split them up. And I have a video on that. You guys can go check it out and see exactly what happened. But I decided to list them individually. And this person bought four dolls and they made me an offer for $50. Poshmark took 10 and I received 40. I pick up Bratz dolls at garage sales and thrift stores all the time. And sometimes I lot them, but I've been leaning towards selling them individually because I can get more. So I sold these four Bratz for $50. I also do really well with toys on um, Mercari. The next item I sold is um, 
the, the rubber, uh, wood rubber stamps. And these are horses and it's a mixed lot of six. And I sold these for $18 and the buyer paid shipping. All right, so this is something new I'm trying. These are one gallon mystery bag, small building blocks. So I picked a ton of blocks up and uh, most of them weren't Legos. They were like mega blocks and connects and some that didn't have names, but most of them are interchangeable. Like they still stack on each other just fine. Um, so I'm just calling these one gallon mystery bags. And I have several um, bags in the photo just to show people that each bag is unique and different. But um, also that is why the first thing in my title says one gallon. And each bag weighs approximately two pounds. So if somebody wanted to bundle, they could um, bundle two of these, I suppose. I think I have a separate listing. So if people want to do that, they can. Uh, but yeah, I've sold a few of these. This one sold for $17. I took a best offer. And of course, the buyer pays shipping on Posh. Anna Lee. So I sell Anna Lee all the time on eBay, but this one sold first on Poshmark. It's a 2007 Anna Lee classic Christmas white elephant. Um, and it sold for $18. And the next item are these Swix women's pants size extra large. And um, they had a, um, they were new with tags, but I, I sold them once and somebody returned them which was no big deal. They came back with the tags on them. They didn't look worn, nothing. They looked fine. And this person, I just saw when I was pulling this up that they said that the item looked like it had been worn, which they're brand new with tags. So I totally don't understand that. But they said they loved the pants, but they gave me four stars. So whatever, I, I don't know. They were brand new with tags. I, I can't imagine somebody trying them on when I sold them the first time would make them look worn, but, um, yeah, really weird situation. So, but they left me four stars and were really overall, it was good feedback other than they gave me a four instead of a five, which is fine, whatever. Um, but just a weird situation. I didn't even catch it until I was pulling up the listing and I picked these up at a garage sale and I want to say I paid like $5 for them because the tag, um, they're originally $129 pants. And it's a brand I've never heard of. So that's why I wanted to share it with you guys. It's Swix, S-W-I-X. The next item I sold is this Blaze and the Monster Machine die cast car. This is Pickle. He's green. And he sold for $15. And he was, um, I think I got him in a mystery box. The next item are these Kitty Surprise and her three kittens. And... I picked these up at a thrift store. I have a video on it and I was super excited because they were in their crates and I thought they were new old stock, but it turned out that they were pre-owned. Somebody had just kept the original packaging. Um, because they were pre-owned, I decided to sell them without their crates because the crates would have increased the shipping on eBay. Um, I didn't think about keeping the crates for Poshmark, but I didn't keep them. So I sold this for $20. And it's Hello Kitty Surprise. Um, and they, let me see if I can show you guys if you're not familiar with it. So this opens up and the little kittens go inside. And like, it's a surprise at how many kittens or how many babies she has when you buy them. And they also have like a unicorn and dogs. So the next item I picked up at a garage sale it was a bulk buy of Halloween stuff. I just happened to ask the person, hey, do you have any Halloween back there? And I bought all of their Halloween decorations and stuff. And this item was in there. And it's vintage and it's a Hawaiian dress. And it's very, very cool. And this sat and sat on eBay and I listed it on Poshmark and it sold for $35 and the buyer paid shipping. These bow brettes, you know, this is just one of those items where I'm like, hey, maybe it'll drive traffic into my closet. Maybe somebody will bundle it. But they actually sold for $10 and the buyer paid shipping. Animal Jam, lot of 12 houses and eight pets. And this sold for $16 and the buyer paid the shipping. And this is what they look like. If you've never seen them before, I had to figure out what they were because I had never seen Animal Jam before. 
The next item I sold is this Moana Disney lot of seven. Uh, they're like action figures, cake toppers. They are heavy. They're not lightweight. They're super cool. Um, I picked up some of these. I've had like three sets. I know I got two at a garage sale and one at the thrift store. I can't remember what I paid for this. I'm going to say probably three bucks. And they sold for $20 and the buyer paid shipping. This item came from a garage sale. It was new with tags. And I did pay $5 at the garage sale for this. I just thought it was super, super cute. It's Joe Fresh. It's an animal print faux fur coat for a little girl. And it was a size four. And it sold for $31 in the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this hide and eek lamb costume. I picked a bunch of these up at the bargain hunt is the name of the discount store and they were on sale for $3 each and I got them last year and um, I sold this for $16. The next item I sold are these vintage watch parts and movements and my husband gave me these. He was going to get rid of them. Um, because most of them were women's, I do believe. Yeah. And he likes the men's stuff. So he was just like, I'm getting rid of this. And I'm like, I'll take your trash. So I sold this for $35. And people will restore watches with these, but they also do arts and crafts. The next item I sold are these vintage Carhartt canvas coveralls men's. And these are from the I Got It Free garage sale. Go check out that video. I got so much stuff free. I'm guessing I've made, gosh, over $500 off of that stuff. Unbelievable. They were moving. I went at the end of the sale and they're like, you can just have it. So I loaded up my car and brought it home and got it listed. And this is one of the items and it sold for $50. So awesome, awesome. This is an Imaginarium Pirates uh, wooden train figure, and I can't remember where I got this. This may have been something that I got free, but I sold this for $17. The next item I sold is this lot of um, Christmas, vintage Christmas items. So I've got the two rubber Rudolph reindeers made in Japan. These are definitely something to be on the lookout for. Here's another item to be on the lookout for. These. Um, uh, oh gosh, putts, I think is what they're called. Um, they make putts houses. I think this is the same material. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what it's called, but it's vintage. Um, they also make them with pine cones and I have a few of those listed. And then this is a felt elf. So these are all things that I bolo for, for sure. Um, the person offered me $60 for all three items. I went ahead and took it. Uh, you know, I had 40, 70, 95 on it and I took 60. When people bundle, I, I just, if I've had it a while or if I, I kind of price high on Poshmark because I do a lot of price drops and send offers. So, um, yeah, so 60, I was happy with 60. I probably got less than $5 in all of these items. The next item I sold is this Fenton Arch Glass hand painted, painted floral iridescent and I forgot to put frog in the title. So I am shocked that it even sold because that is like the highlight of this piece is that it is a frog. <laughs> All right. So I picked this up at a garage sale. I bought a whole bunch of frogs. I'm going to say I probably have about 25 cents in this and it sold for $38. The next item I sold is this American Girl um, matching kit nightgown. So this is a. Um, size large girls. So I don't know what age group that would be, but the American girl doll, there's a matching nightgown that goes with her. So, you know, they wear like matching outfits, but I only had the, um, big girls nightgown and it sold for $30. I picked it up at a garage sale for a couple bucks. The next item I sold are these Rudolph minifigure toys. You guys, these things are at garage, not this specific item, but toys minifigures, garage sales galore. You can even find them in bags at thrift stores. Definitely keep an open mind because these things sell. Um, parents are looking for these items for their kids. This sold for $17 in the buyer paid shipping. Okay, so this is an American Girl clothing lot. 
These are all American Girl clothes. They're tagged American Girl. And I picked these up at a garage sale and a bulk lot of American Girl items. And I sold these for $60. These I picked up at a garage sale. They're Tom's Monica size 9 taupe suede shoes. I paid $5 for these. They're Tom's. They're new with tags. I knew that they would sell. They sold very quickly for $55. The next item I sold is this vintage handheld mirror design pendant. And I've had this a long time. And I was happy to see it go. And it sold for $25. So they didn't even make me an offer. They just bought it. And I was super excited. So um, yeah, $25 on that one. The next item I sold are these express pants. Um, they bought two pair and I took a best offer of $40. Poshmark took eight. So my earnings were 32. And I would say I have approximately $3 each in these. Um, it kind of varies. Um, I've said this before when I would shop at discount stores, I would take the total number of items and divide it out by the number of, uh, by the, the total. So the total divided by the number of items. And that would give me a rough estimate of what I spent per item. But, you know, some items were a dollar, some items were $10. So it just kind of evened out to about $3 a piece. Same with these. Um, these are the Express Pants. Somebody bought three pair. I sold them for $60. If you guys are looking for Express Pants, I have tons. I have tons of Lane Bryant. Go check out my store. I've got links down in the description of the video. Um, yeah. So just if you make an offer or a bundle, just put Bolo Buddies so I know that you're from the channel. The next item I sold are these vehicles. These are just numbered wood play rolling push vehicles. And I sold these for $25. <clears throat> excuse me, $25. And this last thing I've had for a long time, but I bought duplicates. I bought a whole bunch of these. I bought them in blue, black, polka dot. And these have been a good seller for me. Um, this is like a dress kini, which is basically like it, it's it's a dress. So you have to wear a bottom underneath it. So it's like a tankini top, but it's longer. Um, and I sold this for $30 and it retails for $98. I picked this up at a discount store. And I want to say I bought some of them when they were regular discounted price. I think they were like $12. But I also got some on clearance for much less. So I am i can't remember exactly what I paid for it. All right, you guys. Those are my Poshmark Bolos. Um, there should be a video getting ready to pop up on either side of me. And I'm going to try to remember to put the list perfectly demo video there. If you guys click on that, that will show you how to use list perfectly. And again, affiliate coupon code Bolo Buddies will get you 30% off your first month of list perfectly. Definitely go check it out. It is a time saver. Um, I always tell people get your items on multiple platforms. And the reason why is let me give you me as an example. I sold exclusively on eBay and I shopped on eBay all the time. And then I started selling on Poshmark. So what did I do? I became a buyer on Poshmark. Then I started selling on Mercari. And then what did I do? I became a buyer on Mercari. And I'm going to tell you what I love buying on Mercari. Um, love it. I don't know why, but Mercari is kind of my go-to right now. And then eBay second and probably Posh third, just because Poshmark is still mostly clothing. Um, I do go to Poshmark for clothes. So. What do you guys think? What do you think about Poshmark? Um, and if you have not joined Poshmark or Mercari, I do have affiliate links down in the description. If you guys use my link to sign up, that would be awesome. And again, links to my eBay store, my Poshmark and my Mercari are also linked below if you guys want to go shopping. And as always, thanks for watching. If you made it this far, comment below. I made it to the end of the video. And thanks for watching.